self-professed science geek is on a mission, teaching kids that science isn't scary, it's fun. I definitely get to play in my job, and the students love to come to science. When Career Day returns after this. Welcome back to Career Day. Grab your test tubes and beakers. It's time to dissect a career that'll really spark your interest. An elementary science school teacher. Hey, Career Day. My job and I, we have a lot of chemistry. This is a picture of the respiratory system. And this is the first organ that we're going to do for the human body. Lisa Niverina is a self-professed science geek and proud to say she's been one since she was a kid. I really remember once when I was little, my dad and I dissected a cow eye in the backyard. And that was a very memorable moment. Today, she loves seeing that same thrill of discovery in the awestruck eyes of her students. Maybe that was the tail. What an interesting question. Let me think about that. Her mission? Teaching them that science isn't scary, it's fun. And as a matter of fact, it's everywhere. Science is everywhere and part of everything. It's in photography, it's in cooking, it's in the classroom, it's all over. Lisa, or Miss Rina as the kids call her, is a science specialist at Browerman Elementary School in Los Angeles. As you can see, her classroom is the place to be. All right, guys, come on in. Great to see you. Good morning. A typical day is filled with, for me, students of a variety of ages and anywhere from four to five different lessons and lots of hands-on activities. Graduated cylinders, does everybody have a pipette? Yeah. Yes. I definitely get to play in my job and the students love to come to science. That is so awesome. It's no wonder they love it. Her classroom's oozing with gadgets galore and tons to explore. They love it when we get to mix water and beakers and make different colors. They like to dissect owl pellets. They make circuits and they measure things. Do you really have broccoli inside your lungs? No. You do not have broccoli inside your lungs. It looks a little bit like broccoli. This is the bronchioles. It was this fun watching her fourth graders get down and dirty, dissecting the contents of what was once in the belly of a bird. If you're an archaeologist. You're on a dig and you're trying to figure out you're a detective. Wow, this. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I found a couple skulls. Did it help you understand how the food web worked? Yeah. Yeah. Lisa grew up with a fascination for science and figured she'd become a doctor. But during her stint in medical school, she discovered her true passion, teaching. When that moves, it changes the pressure and it draws the air in. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. And I started working across the street at the preschool. That was a task. And I just loved being with all the kids and I ended up doing a lot of science with the kids. So I was still doing science, but I was working in education. One element she absolutely loves most, exposing kids to a world beyond their bubble. That's right, in Indonesia in the uh, floating market. And so they use a balance scale just like this. We've written to the president, we've learned about conflict minerals. It's important that people understand the global importance and geography and how all of our actions do have an impact on our whole planet. That's right, Antarctica. Throughout her career, Lisa's taught thousands of students from grades K through eight. And what she's most inspired by? The potential in each and every one of them. They might be the next one that makes the big discovery or starts a company and finds something that is a solution. They might be the one that figures out how to have a different kind of car or a different kind of solar power. And they might be the president of the company that fixes it or wins a Nobel Prize. Teaching is a dream job. I really love being here. No doubt about it, this career deserves an A+.